spent about a week now on the water and it does take some getting used to especially since our first week was covered with quite gnarly weather which uh, you'll see quickly I'm glad we're at on a mooring at the moment <laughs> Google says 40 kilometers an hour. What about windy? 27 knots. Well, at least I've got some company. Also the water, we're keeping the seacocks closed because the water is, is quite dirty. There's a lot of oil spills and it's actually eating up the anti-fouling as well which doesn't look great also doesn't smell that great always but anyway we've been keeping busy so let's quickly show you what we installed on the boat this week and while we were still on the hard What do we have here? After the failure of our previous buying attempt. Yeah, we bought a, a depth sounder from America, but it's stuck in the South African Postal s Service. They're a bunch of fucking, fucking blah, blah, blah. And then we want to put the boat in the water by Wednesday, so when we, if we eventually get that, we'll sell it and we're going to use this now. Yeah, but we've got to put this in because otherwise we have to delay the whole boat launching and shit. So. What's this? The transducer, the speed transducer. Slow down! This is a depth transducer. Through all, right? Through all. This is a, oh, this is a blank off. The blank off if you want to take it out. But this is just for the speed. I think it's just a speed one. And then this is the... So this one, you, you take that off like that, so... And then you close it. And that's a blank off there at the top. And there's the little front. Mm. Yeah, so if anyone's interested in a depth sounder, for about 3,000 bucks, just uh, leave us a comment. <laughs> we haven't got it yet, so we, how can you sell it if you haven't even got it? Hopefully uh, we have it by the time this video goes on the internet. We did actually receive our depth sounder a full three days after launch. And uh, it had more cable than the, than the one we bought here, which would have been nice when installing it and uh, all the fancy screens and stuff there we're looking to sell it for 2500 bucks but anyway let's get back to the video let's go check what's up yeah, if you don't remember or if we forgot to show it i can't remember we blocked the uh, hole here for the for the depth sounder so we got to take that out before we can put the other one but we've got to make a new hole as well for the for the speed so i'm busy fitting the little bracket here I'm gonna fit the, just making them using that as a template to fit the, the through hole transducer for the for the depth and then this side is the uh, this fitting coming in there, that's the through hole transducer for the speed. So that's what we're busy fitting there.
I marked out the little fitting for the, the depth and the speed. So that's going to go in there like that. And I also use that hole. So this hole here is still open, but we'll just put a bolt or something on here. Before we later decide to use it for some reason. You happy with the stomach? Okay, let's cut. So last night we quickly installed the depth sounder completely. We put the little screen here, we fixed it here with the bolt. So it's in position, it's watertight. And we also ran two cables through the whole boat to turn it on. We've got a switch here to put it on and off as well. And it runs all the way to the transducers we installed. And it looks to be working, shows depth and trip. And uh, yeah, so that's working now. We'll have a proper test of it when we get out of this walk on another busy day on the boat you can see we're adding a couple of electronic stuff we've added the screen there but at the bottom here we've made a hole we're gonna put a fitting so you can see we put our secondary GPS mounted there and then um, at the back there we also made a hole for the for the autopilot and um, also another uh, fitting that will have a speaker for the back so we can hear the radio better outside we'll be using these waterproof fittings at the back there so for the speaker and then over here the autopilot's got its own three hole system the plug that I don't know where it is at the moment a couple of other stuff arrived today that we ordered online. We've got our Mursa PA uh, horn for uh, the radio. We don't always listen to rock and roll, but when we do, so does everyone else. We've got our external speaker for the radio so you can, you can hear it properly outside. And then we've got an uh, uh, antenna for the GPS so that it can uh, retrieve signal a bit better through better through the metal and here's the autopilot plug installed so we'll hook that up and give it a test as soon as we start taking the boat out and here we've got our fm radio and our external speaker through that fitting temporarily mounted here until we get the arch fixed we've got another electrical fitting mounted here on the front of the deck and uh, that's cause we changed our mind. We're gonna mount the PA speaker on the front here. It's a lot less hassle and it'll be just as effective on the front of the deck. We've got the PA <coughs> running through the deck here in this trim rib, whatever you want to call it down here still needs to be fastened but you can see what we did here is we made three audio jacks so uh, this one being the PA and the other one being the external speaker on the outside and uh, here we can choose the output so if we want to play FM radio we keep the external speaker in there if we want to put it on the VHF we just plug it in there and uh, if we want to tune the FM radio, we want to play that over the PA, we can pop that in there as well. So it's basically, but mostly it's for the to be able to switch between the VHF and the FM. So when we're at anchor, we can listen to radio or tunes on the on the radio over there. And when we are sailing, we can listen to the VHF. Hear what the people say. 
that's another episode a bit of a short one but thanks for watching uh, special thanks to our patrons including our new patrons thanks benji for this beer and thanks gerard for the next one we'll see you again next week cheers Cut.